That sound, sound design guy, I am here with... Eric, I'm from Octopus Games, we're making Wildwoods. Right. So, I just played the Wildwoods demo, uh, beat on hard mode, first, first, first team to beat on hard mode, so humble brag. Um, so, uh, tell us a bit about the game. Yeah, it's about four cats, up to four cats, basically defending a wagon, going through uh, the forest where you can see the uh, game right there. In the daytime you collect resources, you need to upgrade your wagon and uh, survive the night, which is dark and enemies come to, to get your stuff. You need to light your fire and you can heal with some herbs from the forest. And in the end there might be a boss fight for you, I've heard. <laughs> Uh, so super, it was a super addictive gameplay. Like, it took, it was worth the multiple attempts of me in three yeah, different teams that. trying. <laughs> um, so I'd like to ask, so for music and sound effects, um, did you work, make is it in-house or did you buy store assets or? We actually have a sound designer for that, which uh, is the brother of our 3D artist. He's working for a company making movie sounds and game sounds for us too. And uh, he's actually creating the songs from, from scratch. Uh, we could buy some stuff which is uh, non exclusive, but we decided to have exclusive, exclusive sound. And we're using FMOD to basically put everything together, which also he does. So he's mixing right in the engine there. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then there's just fun, uh, fun, debatable question that I just like throwing around. What yeah. are your thoughts on AI in the current scape? Is it exciting? Is it scary? Does it Compromise the artistic vision, or is it the next step? Guess uh, you mean like the AI, like ChatGPT and yeah. those art stuff. Right, and like this stuff, like there's the one for the art pictures, and yeah. then even some sound design AI. Projects. Okay. Um, in general, I don't think that AI is a problem right now. I try to code with uh, ChatGPT, for example, and I spend more time explaining to him what I want and what I need. So I basically have coded it myself. I have absolutely no idea on how sound design is. I know there is AI basically simulating voices of real persons, right. which could be a problem in the future. And I guess a lot of artists, especially uh, concept artists, might get into trouble when you basically tell them okay, what you want or an AI what you want and it's going there. I think the possibilities for creating content, like live content, is very interesting because one of the games over at Dedalic actually has a chatbot where in the game you at some point chat with an AI which is an actual AI. So and you only recognize if you ask them some questions and things become weird. So I see a lot of potential there. Awesome. Alright, so um, again I loved the demo. Uh, I recommend everyone wish list that on wish list uh, on Steam. I and you can play the demo on Steam so you don't have to be here. Awesome. So um thank you for your time.